The new treatment works on mast cell tumors, which is reportedly a very common type of cancer in dogs. And this is where Hank went to beat his cancer. So this? this is Hank seven weeks after beating cancer. So that's all that's left is this scar that's healing up. His mom, Katie Green, noticed a lump on his paw. Now you only see the scar, but what was here before threatened his life, a mast cell tumor. Especially the location and the size that he had, it would have either been a full leg amputation um, or uh, radiation treatment, which would have been about like $10,000 to do. Yeah, and um, his treatment was less than a thousand. So it was much more accessible for, for people. Green found an alternative called Stelfanta, an injection right into the tumor. The medication kind of brings in cells from the patient's immune system and together they um, they kill all of the cancer cells and it basically kind of rots from the inside out. She knows all this because she's also his veterinarian. Part of you is like, this is very interesting and it's science, but then, you know, you wake up and you're like, oh man, my dog has cancer. And, you know, have that kind of moment of like, it's scary and sad and even when you understand it, but, um, but he's, he's a rock star, so. Green wants you to have the same chance to save your dog's life. Hank was their very first patient. This treatment still very new. It's actually only been available since around 2020. Leah Shields, First Coast News, on your side.